Hi guys, welcome to the Fit Rush and today's video is going to be a product review and uh, let me just make this clear just before we go get into the video. This video is no way sponsored by the brand. It's just the brand that I own and I would like to review it and give you my honest review about that product. Now, the product that we are going to talk about is going to be the Muscle Blaze BCAA Pro and these are the things that we are going to talk about. That is, number one, what are BCAAs? Number two, is BCAA needed? Three, where can you find this BCAA and what is the cost? Number four, my honest review about this product. Without further ado, let's get to that review. Okay, so the, the product that I'm going to be talking about is the Muscle Blaze Pro. You can see it over here and the, the flavor is a uh, pineapple flavor so you can see uh, now uh, going back to the list of events that we're actually going to be talking about or the indexes that i have given in the first the first thing is what are bcaa's now from the name bcaa it's it actually abbreviates or expands to branch chain amino acids now what are branch chain amino acids you might ask there are two types of amino acids that is the essential amino acids and the non-essential amino acids the body can only produce non-essential amino acids so these amino acids that you are actually having in the bcaa form are the essential amino acids now you may ask like why should i go for a supplement i can probably have it in food of course you can definitely get essential amino acids in food that is through egg meat and other sources of meat for vegetarians, it's going to be a little more harder to get this source of amino acids. That's the essential amino acids. That's why we have a supplement. Plus, even for the non-vegetarians, it's going to be really hard. How much of amino acids, that is the essential amino acids, are you going to get out from an egg? Are you going to eat 21 eggs to get the necessary amount of amino acids that's needed? So that's why you have a supplementation and it's totally safe to have this. I have been having it for a very, very long time. Uh, runners have it, bodybuilders have it fitness enthusiasts have it it's totally fine to have it as long as you're having it within the prescribed dosage that is mentioned behind so i want to talk about three main amino acids that are there in this branch chain amino acid product that is leucine isoleucine and valine now it's it's given in the ratio of two is to one is to one now that you know the contents of this these are the main three ingredients that you get with the muscle blaze pro bcaa coming to the last part of what are bcaa's these basically help the body to remain in an anabolic stage to prevent the breakdown of muscle now what is anabolic and what is catabolic i'll come to that so there is this process when you actually get into the stage of catabolism and anabolism Catabolism, as the name suggests, it is a process or it's a stage of the body when it starts consuming itself. And the first thing that it starts consuming is going to be your muscle. So the more amount of cardio that you do, you'll end up burning your muscle first. It's not the fat that gets burned out first, it's the muscle that gets burned out first. And this product will help preserve those muscles and help you maintain or retain in that anabolic stage, which is why a lot of athletes use this. This is very, very useful for people who are running a lot. That's about uh, what are BCAAs. The next topic that we're going to discuss about is are BCAAs needed? If you personally ask me, BCAAs, especially the essential amino acids, are very, very important and are necessary for every individual. Be it a person, who, if you're mildly active, to an athlete, to a bodybuilder, these essential amino acids are very, very crucial as they are the building blocks of your body. Now, why you need essential amino acids as i mentioned a couple of minutes ago these amino acids help prevent the breakdown of the muscle which is very very crucial and helps keep the body in an in an anabolic stage rather than a catabolic stage now when do you get into a catabolic stage it is basically when you go to sleep and you're not eating for a long duration of time and you get up to have your breakfast until that portion of time is your window where you can be catabolic so the best time to have this amino acid will probably be in the morning just before you're doing your cardio you can use it as an intra workout while you're while you're while you're doing your workout you can also have it as a post workout while you're after you complete your workout now these also offer some form of energy and it helps you you can't substitute this as an energy drink it's not an energy drink but it helps prevent the muscle from becoming fatigued on a long duration of time now coming down to the question of where you'll actually get this 
This product is available on almost every online website that's there. You get it on Amazon, you get it on their official website, that's muscleblaze.com, and you'll also get it on HealthCut. Now, the price of this is, the actual price is 1999 but you will definitely get an amazing deal on this on these different websites. I'll be linking them in the description below. Now, we are coming down to the point of my honest review about this product. I have been using this for about six, six months now. Uh, ever since the lockdown started, I've been using this product. Uh, I used to use a different brand. Uh, this is the pineapple flavor. I'm not a huge fan of the pineapple flavor. My favorite flavor is always the green apple or the watermelon. Apart from these three flavors, they have a lot of other flavors also that you guys should definitely try. Pineapple is not bad. I find myself having a little bit more energy when I'm doing my workout uh, while I'm having this product. And I'm also noticing that once when I go to do my longer runs, I'm not losing a lot of muscle mass. So that is really, really beneficial. Another key important thing that you guys need to know is the dosage. The dosage is written over here. The recommended dosage is here. Please read through this and stick to the re required dosage only apart from just the bcaa where this comes to become very useful is the amount of salt contents it's there it has sodium and potassium which is very very useful for runners because as they're running and as you're sweating you'll be losing out salt this is a great electrolyte to replenish that hope this video was informative to you and uh, i'll be coming out with more videos like this uh, so do stay tuned Drop a like, comment, share and subscribe. Comment down below whether what BCAA are you using or what other substitute you are using for your amino acids. And I will see you again in another video. Stay safe, stay fit.